morning everyone. I'm starting off my morning today by cooking some eggs. I feel like I haven't cooked eggs in a vlog for so long. Who remembers when I was literally obsessed with them and I had them every single day. How satisfying is that? Oh, I love seeing it cook. And here it is. Here is my breakfast. I am now going to sit and eat this before I start getting ready for the day. I've just finished my makeup. I've been going for like the really glowy natural look recently, although I need to blend it down my neck. So let's just ignore that. I have also just been watching Pretty Little Lies while I'm getting ready. I love to rewatch series because I need a new series to watch. I've been saying for so long, like, please recommend me series and people do. And then I just never start watching them. I always just end up rewatching series that I've loved before. So I've watched The Vampire Diaries twice and then I'm on like my probably fourth round of Pretty Little Liars just because I have it on in the background whilst I'm like doing anything and everything. I'm on series six at the moment or maybe it's series seven. No it's series six where they're going into the dollhouse. It is so good honestly if you haven't watched Pretty Little Liars I could not recommend it more. I cannot believe it's finished and they're not going to make another episode. I actually just want to take it back a couple of days when I went to London and I went to the body shops at Bond Street concept store and I actually set myself a challenge. and I found some amazing presents. I'm gonna show you the clips from when I went to the store and I was picking out a load of presents and then I'm actually gonna sit and I'm gonna unbox them and show you who I bought them for, how much they are, and basically I just have the most amazing range of presents for my friends and family and I just really wanted to show you. I have come into the body shop store and I'm gonna pick up some presents for my friends and family, all of which are gonna be under 50 pounds. First of all, I've got a load of the Christmas stuff here and I really wanna pick up, I think I'm gonna get this, the Born Lippy Star. I have always been obsessed with Born Lippies. If you look back, some of my first ever makeup collections. It's filled with these. These are so cute. I love the one There's also this gift set up here. It's the Nutty and Nourishing Sheer Ultimate Collection. This is one of my favourite scents in the body shop. So it's a £40 set, but I love it. This little set here, juicy pair. This is what you get inside it. to show you some of the gifts I actually picked up. I'm going to tell you who I got them for, the prices, why I like them, and basically just a bit about the gifts that I have. The first gift I have is this one. It was £18 and it is the Calming Chamomile Gentle Cleanse Kit. Now I actually picked this up for my mum because I don't want to offend my mum, but she does get a little bit stressed sometimes. I feel like my mum is just going to really enjoy using this as it's super calming and like I said, she's get a little bit stressed sometimes. She loves the scent of this as well, so I know she's going to love it. In here you get a gentle eye makeup remover, you get a sumptuous cleansing butter which has got calming chamomile extract in it and then you also get a little cloth here so it's basically a nice little skincare set and my mum actually really enjoys her skincare so for 18 pounds i thought that was really good and they're really decent sized products as well so i know my mum is going to absolutely love that next one now i actually picked this up for atticus because i know that atticus loves lip balms one of my first ever lip balms was some of the born lippies i had the strawberry one and i had the raspberry one which you actually get in here you get the watermelon one you get two raspberry and you get two strawberry and if you look at my first ever makeup collection you'll see them in my little acrylic drawers because they're some of the most amazing lip balms and like I said Atticus is basically just obsessed with lip balms he has quite a few I just know Atticus so well and I know he's going to love the packaging of it and then when I tell him that it's five lip balms he is going to be so excited I have just opened it up because I want to smell the watermelon one if I had my eyes shut I would genuinely think that is like a big slice of watermelon in front of me because that is like pure watermelon never tried that one before that looks really nice this little set here was a 12 pounds which I don't think is a bad price at all so the next one i have got the rise and shine shower gel quad and i'm not gonna lie when i saw this all i could think of was rise and shine it honestly just made me laugh so much but honestly this product would be perfect for my best friend saf because she is constantly traveling at the moment so i feel like she always needs little mini toiletries to like take with her this little quad was at nine pounds and i'm just going to open it up because i actually want to smell some of them so in here you get satsuma pink grapefruit strawberry and mango so i'm going to smell the pink grapefruit all that's fresh that's a super super fresh scent i feel like staff would really like that nine pounds i love this i think it's perfect for someone who is always traveling who is always on the go because obviously four little minis just pop one in your bag you're good to go then i've got this set which is called don't ask just mask and it was 10 pounds and i feel like my nan would absolutely love something like this because my nan loves doing her skincare she takes such pride in her skin and every time i go around she's like anna does my skin look good is it glowing and i'm like yes nan it is so in here you actually get six different face masks packets which i love so you get two japanese matcha tea pollution clearing masks you get two british rose fresh plumping masks 
glass which are the pink ones i love that and then you get two of the himalayan charcoal purifying glow masks and then you also get this little headband to keep your hair back with i think it's meant to be a little reindeer which is really really cute and i can just imagine my nan putting this on bless her while she's doing her face masks i think this gift would be great as well for someone who again is always on the go and traveling because how easy is it just to pick up one of the little packets and put it in your toiletry bag other than like lugging around your big pot of face mask i think that's really good and 10 pounds again way in the budget those are actually all the presents that i decided to pick up for all my family and friends i had such a nice time in the body shop bond street concept store i really recommend that you go as you would have seen from all the clips the features they have in that store are incredible and this year as well the body shop are actually donating at 25 pounds to plan international which is going to help support a girl shout out which is basically a safe closed space on existing social media channels it is moderated by plan international and they can basically go on there and share and discuss matters that mean a lot to them so one example could be body image so i think this is a really really good thing that the body shop are donating money towards and i will leave more information down below if you guys do want to go and hear a little bit more about it but yeah those are my body shop gifts and i'm really excited to give them to my family and friends I just tried a new curling hack as well. I actually tried curling my hair with a straightener. I basically watched a girl do it on TikTok and her hair looked so incredible. To be fair though, she had like long hair, like her hair was a lot longer than mine, but it looked amazing. And I was like, oh my God, I need to try that. So it's basically, she got the straightener and then she just like twisted it away from her, pulled it down. And then it just gave her these like, waves like mine hasn't really gone like hers did but it was a lot quicker than doing it with the curling wand this bit here kind of went wrong hence i've tucked that behind my ears but like this bit went okay but i actually really like it just thought i'd share that little curling hack you know i actually do really like tiktoks for hacks like that i'm always on the for you page looking for like makeup hacks or like hair hacks it's really really good today i think we are putting up the christmas tree which i'm very excited for mum has been planning on doing it today for a while so fingers crossed we're still doing it i'll show you some of the christmas decorations that we have up downstairs already because mum spent the majority of the day yesterday like cleaning out the garden doing the house like changing over decorations and stuff so we've got some reefs up we've got some outdoor lights we want to get because this is our first year having a garden so we want to get some like big light up reindeers to put in the garden because we'll be able to see them through our patio doors we wanted lights outside last year but we literally just had a tiny little front garden that we would not be able to see and they'd probably get stolen so like i said like it's our first year having outdoor lights and we're really excited about it i know our theme for this christmas is going to be gold gold and white i think and i don't know if we're getting a real tree i feel like we are because my mum said like when i rang her earlier that she was in argos picking up a tree skirt so i don't see why we need one unless we were getting a real tree no because then my mum hasn't got a real tree now and she definitely wouldn't be going to pick one up so maybe not maybe we're just going with the normal tree but still the color theme this year is going to be white and gold but like traditional but like white and gold yeah so you just filmed a video i'm feeling so productive today what is the time wait the time is one o'clock and i've literally done so much oh my god my tan line is awful basically if you guys have seen one of my recent videos on my channel you would know my tan lines isn't very great so i actually need to scrub my tan off tonight i need to reapply a whole new layer because tomorrow well actually today i'm that didn't even make sense let me start again literally this whole week including the previous weekend i have been work 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 like i've had so much to do i literally haven't stopped but it's because i've been preparing for like the week ahead so so this weekend i'm going away to watch the x factor semi-finals and then i'm spending the weekend with my friend jem possibly staying with saf on sunday night as well because we haven't seen each other in so long so hopefully i'm going to go and see her sunday night then monday morning i'll come back from london i have monday to like relax finish editing a video unpack my case for tuesday i go away doing something for a secret project which we're announcing very very soon and then wednesday thursday friday i'm away on a trip with a brand which i'm so excited for because i haven't been on a trip with a brand for so long I haven't even gone to any event for so long just because i've been so busy and has is coming as well so that's going to be really nice and then we're going back to london on friday going to has and byron's so has can change her suitcase getting byron then me has and byron are coming back to my house then i'm driving to birmingham on friday night and then we're going to winter in the city friday saturday sunday sunday night has a baron come back to mine and we're all staying over at mine monday morning i'm then driving us all to bista village and we're going to go shopping and hopefully get some bits for christmas or whatever i'm not really sure basically just going shopping so as you can imagine i literally have a full-on like next nine or ten days so i've had to pre-film and get all of my work done literally like in a week's time which doesn't sound too hard but i've managed to do it without getting hugely stressed and now i'm like perfectly on time so i'm gonna go to tesco i'm gonna go and get myself a pasta pot i really want to go and get one of the um tomato feta 
and something else pasta things and heat it up in the microwave it's my favorite thing to do i need to go and buy some wrapping paper for my other video and yeah i'm pretty on time i'm feeling really good i went to tesco this is the pasta that i went for it's the feta and semi-dried tomato and honestly if you haven't tried it already i really recommend it i got this and i also got please ignore the mcdonald's rubbish in my car i really need to empty it i got a coke i got some wrapping paper and i got some white chocolate buttons I don't know where they are. It's in the microwave. I heat it for 1 minute 30 and that's like perfect to heat it up to the right heat. So just helping you guys out. I've had my pasta. It was so good. I'm really gassy because I had that Coke as well. And now I'm actually going to go over and see my nan. I'm not going to vlog it because I'm actually giving her something as part of the main channel video. Um, and obviously I don't want to like give any spoilers or whatever of what it is. But um, yeah, I'm going to go see my nan for a little while. Then we're going to come back and we're going to oh my god and we're gonna put the tree up i just look a bit of a mess today like i just bought a hair scrunchie with me because i just need to put half my hair back you know when it's just one of those days where your hair's just not cooperating with you i'm gonna wash it tonight and i was reading all of your comments actually on my recent um video and everyone was talking to me about the how like if the shampoo doesn't foam up it technically could be better so i really want to read the comments and everyone was telling me to watch i want to say his name is brad mono but i might have got his name wrong um but everyone was telling me to watch him and to find some stuff about like about my hair from him uh, so i'm gonna do that tonight as well and i'll let you guys know what i find out but that was really interesting so i'm very excited to watch him but anyway i'm gonna go to my nan's now i'm home from my nan's i've just finished making a vlog thumbnail and i'm just waiting until mum and atticus are ready to put the christmas tree up basically before we do that i want to talk to you guys about my hair update because i was telling you maybe three or four vlogs ago that i was just really unhappy with my hair i hated it didn't really know what had happened to it and i've managed to sort it out to a point um it looks a bit scraggly now because i've had my hair like curly all day and i need to wash it today but compared to what it was it is 10 million times better i hadn't had my hair dyed for a good six months i want to say the last time i got it properly stripped back to blonde was by shani in december last year before i went to new york with saf because i was down south so i got my hair done got a spray tan i remember i looked really really different if you guys remember those vlogs you'll remember how different i looked i didn't i don't know why my hair grew out and it just looked awful and then in my head i was like okay i can use a purple shampoo and my hair will be completely fine again it will strip away the brassiness it will go back to blonde I was like in my head that's great little did i know that did not happen i have tried quite a few purple shampoos in my time of being blonde because i am naturally blonde but it's turning into a brown the older i get i used to be bleach blonde when i was younger and now i'm brown and then this is obviously like a mixture of my hair and hair dye but basically in between going to the hairdresser in december and going like a week ago or just over a week ago i'd been to a hairdresser's and i had my hair cut and that was literally it when i got to the hairdresser's she was like your hair isn't that bad but in my head i was like you're lying to me because the night before i had used a purple shampoo and my hair had gone purple because it said on the packaging to leave it on for five minutes and i was like that is too much i knew it was a recipe for disaster i knew it wasn't going to work out so i said to myself okay if i leave it on for three then that's like in the middle like not i'm playing it safe do you know what i mean left it on for three minutes washed my hair everything was fine i looked at my hair like when it was wet and i was like god it's got a right like purple shine to it but i thought okay it would just be maybe like a gray color dried my hair and the top half of my hair until like here was brown with my roots and the bottom half was a lilac purple bearing in mind i had my one million subscriber photo shoot the day no two days after this so i was like oh my god i can't to, i can't do anything with my hair like this like it just didn't look like me it didn't look right so last minute i emergency booked into the hairdressers and i just don't know why i didn't do it sooner honestly she basically did a full head of foils on my hair and she cut it maybe cut about that much off so my hair is like significantly shorter but it feels so much better it feels thicker it feels healthier the color's so much better it's not snapping off it's a little dry from the uh i don't think i have bleach on it but from the dye or whatever she put on it it's gone a little bit dry but that's nothing like a key but that's nothing a constant hair mask can't help um but i honestly feel so much better because it's crazy how much hair can affect your confidence i honestly didn't realize and my hair affected me so so much and i'm just so happy that it's like how i want it now i still want it to be lighter but obviously she was like that's going to be a gradual process the next time you come it will go even lighter and so on and so forth so i'm going to book in for not maybe in december i'll maybe leave it for like new year or maybe i should do it just before christmas i don't know but around that time so i want to go like bleach blonde again 
um, but that's my hair update when I use purple shampoo now I use a little dollop and I mix it into my regular shampoo which I should have done anyway the hairdresser told me to do that and I was like why wasn't I doing that so that is what I do and it works so much better because it strips the brassiness without turning my hair purple I just use a regular shampoo and conditioner wash my hair maybe once every three days four days if I can push it to four days I'm gonna wash my hair tonight and I won't and it's Friday I won't wash my hair until Monday then I won't wash my hair until Friday just because I don't want to overwork it and I want the natural oils to help my hair but a lot of people saying don't wash your hair every day or every other day it's really bad for your hair but that's my hair update I am now just like I said waiting for them to put the Christmas tree up although I'm scared they're doing it and they haven't told me yet did your parents ever do that so I just called Atticus up here he has no idea why but I've got a present for you I have are you ready to see it yeah what is that you know you love your lip balms <laughs> yeah <laughs> you've got five yeah you're actually correct I am correct so what flavours are they? You've got two strawberry, you've got two raspberry I'm and wondering. watermelon. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome. Do you like it? I like the star. Look, can you put a spell on me? It's like a wand. Yeah. Oh, did one just come out? Aren't you a lucky boy? As if you've got five. I'm so jealous. <gasps> I can smell it from here. That's strawberry. That is strawberry. Is it nice? Yeah. Do you want me to open that one as well? Oh, Atticus, that's nice. What is flavour is that? Raspberry. I smelt this one earlier, it's so nice. That's so nice. Do you like that one? <laughs> Which one's your favourite? Strawberry. Is it strawberry? Actually, including my one I've got now. How six. Have you got six lip balms now? God, you're a lucky boy. Every morning before you go to school, you've got pick of every flavour there. My mum will be proud. <laughs> Your mum's going to be very proud, she's going to be very happy. Do you want to go and show her? Yeah, come on then, Anna. Lip balms! Um, that, two strawberry, two raspberry and one oh. watermelon. You'll smell them, you're going to... Are they for them. me? No, they're for me. Oh. <laughs> I've got you something. Ah, shit. Yeah. Oh, you like your lip balms, don't you? Mum, you're going to love the smells. Oh. He said the strawberry one is his favourite. Oh, you going to put some of that on? Smell it. I'll put the lights on. Okay. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I've got this one upstairs. Really? Mm. I think you'll look the strawberry on your lips. Try to put some of that on. Just put a little bit on your finger. That's it. That, oh, that's enough. Yeah. Now put it on your lips. Put it all over. All over, darling. All on your dry bits at the corner. Then, Mum, I've got I you this set. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Lovely. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. I thought you like your body shop skincare stuff, yeah, so. Yeah, I like body shop stuff anyway, but yeah, I've never tried this. Kind of my, like, yeah, relaxing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So when you're stressed. Love some of that one. Exactly. <laughs> so it is our first Christmas in this house, guys. Yeah. Which you've realised it's our first yeah. Christmas in the house. Then, so we've got a tree and then, skirt. And we're counting for Christmas. We are, we count up for Christmas. And, and mum's put the little bits out, so we've got. got this amazing shoulder. Shoulder. Amazing soldier, he says. Oh, I thought you said shoulder. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> soldier. Yeah, we've got some. We've got two dices, then we've got different numbers. Dices, yeah, we've yeah. got reindeer, we've got trees, <laughs> we've got a little lantern, got we've got our tree. Coffee table, look. Oh, yeah, that's nice. The coffee table just go in the middle of the room, by the way. Yeah, We're just in yeah, the middle yeah, of doing it. So we the star. Star for the top of the tree. And look at that. And then all the baubles. And Anna, did you know from my school? Now you can, we can allow to take books home. <gasps> into the library. You've been to the library. And then we can swap it whenever we want. So we've let mum do the sticking out of the branches because mum likes to do that no, bit every year. I like to do it actually, it's my well, least favourite bit. It's your least favourite bit but you won't let me do it. It just takes absolutely ages to get it right. I, I still haven't done it. I've yeah. Just finished. for a bit closer, I put the, the tree decorations over here. You know oh what? yeah. There the scissors down there. I've this tree for three years, I still love it. Yeah, I love that tree. It's so it nice. Looks, it looks like woodland. Yeah. Do you like the skirt? Look. Yeah, I really like the tree skirt. It looks way better with the tree skirt. Yeah, it does. All the lights are on and now it is tinsel time. I Mum. Had tinsel for years. I was going to say, we haven't had tinsel for a very long time. You were always really against it. I know, but I don't know. I know that. Like yeah. Then look at all the ball balls. I know, look at all of them. Yeah, we've just had to. Cut the tags off. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not helping, Mum is very particular about the tree. Yeah, but you can both put some stuff on. I'll put the stuff on, but like the base of the Abby, tree, the lights and Abby, stuff. Abby, 
Yeah. And you? Yeah. Of mum just yeah. gets stressed, so I let mum do it. Our washing machine is broken. We've been having to use our next door neighbour's washing machine, my nan's washing machine, and finally, we've got a new one. It's just been delivered, and the man is coming to fit it, bless him. It's like seven o'clock, and my mum was like, honestly, you can come and do it on Monday, like it's fine. He was like, no, 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 like I'll wait till it's delivered. I'll make sure you come and have a washing machine. Like there are some really, really nice people out there. Mum's doing the very important tinsel check, just sitting back, seeing I'm if it looks where right. I sit. So it looks like from where balls, I balls, balls. I'm gonna look at that for how long. Anna, Anna. Yeah. Is it ball balls next? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Look at that tree. <laughs> <laughs> we've got look, we've got so many ball balls. Yeah, no, we've got loads. Now I think the first things that need to go on are the pine cones. Okay. okay. I was gonna say the big ones. No, 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 pine cones because they're like a base thing as well. Come on, Anna. Also, as you guys can probably see, there's some lights outside on the shed as well, yeah. which Mum has put up, which look really nice. Right. I did want to get a reindeer as well. Yeah, I know. I already told the vlog well, that. Two, Problem two. this morning. Next up are the Christmas tree oh, decorations. These are so nice. They're like white and they sparkle okay. in the light. Some... I'm going to put the tree. I don't know. That's too close to a pine cone. Maybe here. Oh, that's really close to a pine cone as well, though. Oh god, there's quite a lot on this tree. Maybe here. Sure. Mum was yeah, mum was just saying we don't think we're gonna need all the baubles because I own bought, but never mind. Never mind, it's better to have too many than too little. Here is the tree. Now, we do have this box of baubles that I've already said, but mum doesn't think we're going to put them on just because there's so many. I'm and put some on, but definitely It not. was just six well, pounds, so mum was just debating whether to take it back or not, but we've got the star. You ready? So, right. Shall I lift you up? Oh, oh. oh. right. You've got to give it to me. <gasps> Oh god. Oh god, you're knocking the tree. Oh my god. No, don't knock the tree. <laughs> no, I'll do it. <laughs> That's it. You've both got your hands on it. Yeah, no, no. Come on. <laughs> if this went over, I'm not doing it. Oh, help right. me. Can you hold me? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get this bit ready because the tree's gonna go over. Well, that was now. a disaster. <laughs> and then we'll both. And then we'll Merry yeah. Christmas, Anna. Merry it's Christmas, down. Atticus. It stay down. Oh. <laughs> no, it will down. Right. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought you got it then. Yeah, I thought I had. So they follow the big star to the stable, don't they? I think you've done it. Yay. Yeah. Do not knock the tree. Don't, don't <laughs> hear the tree. Here I go. Yeet. I'm all out of the shower now. We actually had Chinese for dinner, which is so nice. I had sweet and sour chicken, Hong Kong style with egg fried rice and chips. And um, what did you have? Chicken chow mein? Yeah. Chicken chow mein. It was really nice. I had a shower. I washed my hair. And I'm feeling ready to go to London. So I'm going to end this one here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, I will see you very soon for a brand new vlog. Mwah. Bye.